Hey everyone, this is Stacy with SF Johnson Consulting and Construction Services. Just wanted to go over very quickly uh, our uh, series for 2023. We will assist uh, some of our uh, folks that want to obtain their license in their trade. And so we just kind of introduce what is required for that license. And then uh, before, uh, well, beginning 2023, there'll be a link to anyone studying with us and you'll be able to study all of these things online with us uh, independently so we can assure you that you will uh, pass your your test and get your license so uh, today we're going to talk about very briefly the low voltage electrician and what they need to know uh, in order to pass any test statewide for that certification and so uh, we will help them study, and these are the topics uh, that they will have to be tested on. So job planning and design. So uh, basically, they have to know how to read a set of plans, uh, wire, uh, know how to set the the routes for the, you know, for the wire, what's, uh, you know, basically how you're going to lay out your wire, all the compliance codes. So you have to be familiar for, with the codes in your state. Um you have to know how you will interact with all other trades. Okay, so that's part of your job planning and design. Yeah, you got to know how to uh, interact with other trades. That makes sense. And uh, integration of new and existing infrastructure. So whatever's there, you got to be able to uh, set your uh, scope of work to accommodate whatever's there, new and existing. Uh, part two. Number two is the material selection and estimating. Of course, you have to be able to have a good working knowledge of doing all of your estimates and, and being able to identify your material, the cost of the material, that type of thing. You know, uh, that's basically just uh, material selection. Yeah, you got to know what is appropriate for each application and then how to price it and, and perform your estimates. Three, uh, we have the wire cable installation and termination. So again, it's the layout, knowledge of the tools that you have to use, uh, the placement and termination of wires and cables, uh, knowledge of labeling schemes and the wires, uh, the labeling schemes for the wires and the cables. Uh, part four of what you'll be tested on is the system configuration and installation. So installing the equipment, uh, things like the satellite, CC, TV, telephone data, all your low voltage stuff that I'm sure if you're getting the license, you already know about, right? Battery systems, audio video, fiber optic, that type of thing. Uh, install building automation. So, um, you know, uh, automated key systems, you know, uh, door strikes, that kind of thing. Uh, up and you know everything automated for the building right uh, all of your photo uh, sensors that type of thing you know in conjunction with the high voltage electrician you know and then of course all of your networking and, and all of that stuff so that's your system configuration for the low voltage part five is testing and project closeout so again the testing are Basically, they're looking to make sure that you know the tools and the methods you use to test and then how to close out a project. All the documentation that's required for that and uh, training. Okay, so and then uh, six, system troubleshooting and repair or replacement. That's pretty self-explanatory. So, yeah, they will test you uh, in the way of do you know how to troubleshoot a system and what may be required that type of thing and then last but not least always is safety uh, what's the cal osha if it's california what's the regular uh fed osha requirements for this uh identifying particular hazards that is associated with your work uh and uh safe practices so if you are interested in uh, getting assistance in passing your test, we guarantee that you will. This is something that we are going to begin in 2023. We're basically taking November and December off, getting all our ducks in a row and getting all these videos recorded for you for the holiday because we know you have nothing else to do in November and December. But listen to me. So thank you very much for joining us and uh, any questions at 
education at sfjohnsonconsulting.com. But hey, we're here to make you smart and uh, hopefully we're having fun while we're doing it. See you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Where is stop? See, I get excited. I can't find the buttons. The button. All right. See you next time.